From the Beaver County Auto Studios, they'll make a bub bub beaver believer out of you. I'm Dan Kingerski. Let's make some sense of the Matt Murray injury situation. On Wednesday, the Penguins announced Murray suffered his second concussion in nine months, his third in 18 months. That will cause Murray to miss some time. The Penguins had to call up a backup goaltender, and this is where things get a little bit interesting. Because you're keeping score, this is Murray's eighth injury in just 113 NHL games. Averaged out, that's about once every 14 games Murray has suffered an injury. Counting his broken hand in the 2016 World Cup when he dove across the crease, thought he jammed his thumb, actually broke his hand. Three lower body injuries, one upper body injury, and now three concussions. Cause for concern on several levels. First of all, a 24-year-old has now suffered three concussions in short order. You saw what happened to former Penguins goalie Mark andre Fleury in Vegas last season after he suffered an October concussion, his third in 21 months. Flurry then missed two full months after that. Murray also, the Penguins have to wonder about his durability. One injury every 14 games does not inspire confidence in a franchise goaltender. So the Penguins have to be wondering on a couple fronts. Now, of course, Tristan Jari will get some time here if Murray is out long term. However, the Penguins did not place Matt Murray on IR. That might lead one to conclude that they don't believe Murray will be out long term or they would have quickly placed him on IR and saved the roster spot. By not saving that roster spot, the Penguins had to put Derek Grant on waivers. The Pens 13th forward Grant signed a one-year $650,000 NHL contract back in July. The Penguins risking going shorthanded into Thursday night if another team claims Grant, then the Penguins will only have 12 forwards Thursday night. Let's say Matt Cullen, Daniel Sprong, or Jake Gensel comes down with an illness or something freak happens in warmups. The Penguins could only have 11 forwards against Vegas, living a little bit dangerously if even that's a remote chance. However, Grant scored 12 goals and 12 assists last season for Anaheim. He is not exactly a, a slouch. A lot of teams will be looking at Grant whether or not they claim him. Also, in training camp, though, uh, Grant was not the same Derek Grant that I saw on tape in Anaheim. Gone was the physicality, the net drive. I was interested to see what Grant brought to the Penguins, especially against a team like the Washington Capitals, but he really didn't establish himself or distinguish himself in preseason or in training camp. In fact, uh, my evaluations in, for Pittsburgh hockey now put at least three Wilkes-Barre Scranton players ahead of Grant from Teddy Bluger, Zach Aston reese and Ryan Haggerty. All three of those players could easily step into the NHL lineup as a fourth line forward today and not miss a beat. So the Penguins aren't risking a lot long term, just maybe a little bit of a risk in the short term. But they're doing so to see what this guy can do. Yuso Ricola, the Finnish flash, the sensation of training camp and preseason. Ricola, just 24 years old, fast, physical in the defensive zone, showed some finesse with the puck. At no point in the preseason was Ricola out of place. He had a fantastic uh, preseason, and in fact, I think the Penguins are as excited to find out what the kid can do in regular season NHL action as the rest of us are. Otherwise, they wouldn't be dishing a plate of press box nachos to this guy. Ole Mata. Credit to Michael Miller, at Pens Are Your Daddy on Twitter for this uh, fantastic photo. You'll see some of uh, Michael's photos on Pittsburgh Hockey Now from time to time. A, a little bit comical. Let's stop the pig pile on Ole Mata, first of all. Last season, Mata resurrected his career. He gained speed. He regained his confidence. He was clearly one of the Penguins' best defenders over the course of the entire season. You didn't notice Mata a lot, and that meant Mata was playing his game. Steady, reliable, responsible. He wasn't getting beat. He is a legit NHL defenseman. However, he and Jack Johnson have had zero chemistry going back to the preseason against Detroit 
when the pair gave up a couple goals in just a six minute span. And in fact, Mata was on the ice for three goals against in seven minutes. He's been struggling a little bit. And if you're on PittsburghHockeyNow.com, you saw the story where Mata did ad admit to, to the reporters in the locker room he's not been good enough. Still a, a pretty quick hook that would only have happened because of Yuso Ricola and the Penguins wanting to see what he's got. But stop the pig pile on Mata, legit NHL defender. No, he doesn't suck. No, he shouldn't be on the first train out of town. The Penguins have at least six NHL defensemen. We're about to find out with uh, Ricola if they've got eight legit NHL defensemen because Chad Ruedel is lurking in the shadows. You know, Ruedel is a uh, great number seven defenseman, able to step in at any time. This is where the, a lot's going to get interesting over the next couple of weeks. Should be a lot of fun Penguins watching. From the PSL Studios, I'm Dan Kingersky.